This is a specimen of the abdominal aorta, and we're looking at the inner or the luminal surface here. When I turn it around, this would be the adventitial surface. Most of the pathology is actually in the intima, so when we look at the inner surface of the aorta, we can actually appreciate that there are some of these yellowish deposits that are beneath the endothelium. These deposits are within the intima and they are known as atherometers plaques or atheromas. Atheromas are composed of lipids as well as foam cells and some of the reactive cells from our body which includes smooth muscle cells, macrophages and some inflammatory cells. In addition, there is also extracellular matrix material that is laid down um, such as collagen, elastin, protoglycans, etc. So grossly, they are recognized by the yellowish appearance, which is not surprising because of their lipid content. Now you'll notice also in some of the areas that there are these other brownish patches. What has happened in this area is that the plaque has undergone ulceration or ruptured. This, of course, will then expose the underlying subendothelial tissue to the bloodstream and give rise to thrombosis. So this brownish area represents a thrombus over a ruptured plaque. Because the aorta is a large diameter vessel, usually the thrombosis is non-occlusive. Um, I'm just going to show you some other thrombi as well as in this area. So the complications of thrombosis would of course include embolization and usually the emboli would go downstream following the direction of blood flow. So really it depends on where the area of thrombosis is. The emboli can be at the smaller vessels, um, for example supplying the lower limb, or they can actually go into other branches of the aorta such as the renal arteries. Another complication of atheroma, because of the weakening and loss of elasticity of the vessel wall, would be aneurysm formation.